Hey guys, Jason at Hard Money Bankers with your Private Money Minute. As real estate investors, we always wonder when is the right time to outsource the property management of our rental properties or when should we just do them, do them ourselves? So if you only have one deal, I strongly suggest you do it yourself because you need to know kind of what goes on with managing rental properties. Do the leasing, show the, you know, show the property, collect the rents, do the management of it, you know, have a you know, a few vendors that you can offload maintenance to, you can take the maintenance calls, but then you offload them to do the work, track it internally, QuickBooks, Excel spreadsheet, something real simple with one deal. Now, as soon as you get up to like five units or five properties, I definitely think you need a little bit more help. I'd probably just offshoot that to a property manager, let the property manager pay them. They're going to, it's going to be a little bit more expensive um, using a property manager because you're going to pay them for leasing. You're going to have to pay them on a monthly basis, maybe five or five to 12% for property management. And they're probably going to upsell you a little bit on, on maintenance calls as well, as well, but let them deal with, with all that at five properties. It's manageable. It's worth the expense. You can't do it yourself as a, as a one person operation. Just let them deal with it. Uh, unless that's your only job, but you know, I'm, I'm assuming uh, that you're doing other things as well. Let, let them do it. Um, let them keep the books and things like that and just report to you. Okay, as soon as you get to 10 properties, it gets a little bit more tricky because I would say you've outgrown a property manager. You could still use a property manager up to hundreds and hundreds of properties. But as soon as you get to about 10 properties, I believe this to be closer to a business and you want to make sure your goals are aligned uh, with everybody you know, with, with everybody involved. So at, with 10 properties, I would suggest you hire a part-time person that works for you on this. Let them show the property, do the leasing, let them collect rents, let them do the bookkeeping. I'd probably buy a software like Yardy or, or um, Propertyware or Appfolio or things like that, a full-time uh, software that can do the accounting, not just QuickBooks. It's not a great resource for that. And let them set up some vendors on your behalf. You help set some vendors up. So when there's maintenance calls, this individual part-time person takes the maintenance calls and then they shoot them off to who's ever doing the work. So you're controlling everything kind of in-house, in um, you know, to make sure you, you have everything under kind of one roof. As soon as you get to about 20 properties, I would certainly suggest you have the budget to hire a full-time person. It's only going to cost you a few thousand dollars a month, maybe up to four or five thousand dollars a month. You have a full-time person. Again, let them do all the books, all the leasing, all the uh, maintenance calls, all the management of it. Meet with you know some of the residents or the tenants in in-house to build a relationship with them. That turns into a big business, and you need support with that. Again, I believe a property manager comes into play at the right times, but I also believe that you can outgrow a property manager by being able to hire somebody in-house, even if it ends up being the same amount of money, or you know what, I think it's gonna be cheaper, but even if it ends up being a little bit more, just to have everything in-house, you can control, you can keep your goals aligned, um, and you can utilize them for a lot more things than just the stuff the property manager works with. So I'm curious how many rental properties you have, and if you can comment below with what your process is, do you agree with my comments? We went, we've been through this and this is exactly what our process was. We started uh, with one or two, we did it ourselves. We moved up to a property manager. As soon as we got to about 10, we're like, our goals are not aligned. It's kind of a pain in the neck to work with them. We brought it in-house. We hired someone first, they worked on a part-time basis. Now they work on a full-time basis. Curious your thoughts, like, comment, share, subscribe. This is Jason with your Private Money Minute.